right, let's check this dimension out. It's a regular old lift. Thank goodness, a normal dimension at last. Yeah, don't count on it. Ready to take a trip into a new dimension, buddy? I'm not sure. These different dimensions are freaking me out. I mean, what if this one is full of sinister penguins or a similar animal that slowly look out from behind things and stare at you? I mean, what if, Ben? What if? Well, we'll just have to hope that doesn't happen, okay? Come on, we've got to find this yin-yang and get home. All right, but keep an eye out for penguins, okay? <laughs> well, this dimension sure is disappointing. Relax, chum. Judging by the lift-like structure to this oh-so-very tiny little room, I'd warrant it's simply some sort of lift-like conduit to the dimension proper. Hmm. Let's try pressing buttons. Damn it! The button doesn't seem to work. The panel seems to be loose. I could possibly get the lift working if I could bash it open somehow. What? You're a lift repair man now? You know how to repair the lift control mechanism? Well, no. But how hard can it be? There's only got a there's only going to be a broken wire back there or something. I'll just have to have a fiddle about until it works. What can possibly go wrong? Uh oh. <laughs> well, I have to bash it open then. Let's use the rock. Alright, this rock should bash that knackered old panel off. <laughs> See? Very clever, MacGyver. Hmm, here it goes. I'm not quite sure exactly what I have to do here. Can't really say I have any experience in fixing lift buttons. Maybe if I... Yeah. Aha! That looks much better. Yes, yes, yes. Much more professional. There we go. Good as new. I'd say it's ready for one more press and we'll be on our way. Steady yourself, chum. You're about to see one awesomely working lift. Yep. The lift is working. We're moving. It's taking a while. <laughs> it's a long pause joke. Yeah. So this is a cool game, don't you think? Ben and Dan venturing about, combining objects, being self-aware of the nature of the silliness of the nature of the game. Going up lifts, standing still and blinking occasionally, uncomfortably pushing their hips out like thrusting horny strange people with no legs and square bodies and spiky hair. Well, here we are. Top floor. I say we keep going up and down in lifts to a bare minimum from now on. Agreed. Whoa, dinosaurs. Oh, it seems to be a dimension where dinosaurs are the dominant species. Cool. Hmm, these guys don't look that cool to me. In fact, the amount of arcade machines at the back there, coupled with the Star Wars toys and body odor in this office, Add up to only one thing. Oh man, it's a video game development studio. Cool! We better tread lightly, chum. These strung out dinos could snap at any time. Right, let's have uh, a chat to some of these gargantuan green game designers. Rawr! Yar! Oh goodness, you scared me with those costumes. It's not dress as humans day until tomorrow, you doofus. Now get back to work, would you? This computer game isn't going to write itself. 
What the hell are you? A Geekiosaurus? Yes. Oh. <laughs> what game are you guys working on? It's Gibbage 2, the big budget sequel to the classic indie hit. Wow. Is it still graphically inferior? No way. We've tried very hard to get the graphics up to at least this century standards. <laughs> Self-deprecating. Gibbage is one of their other games. Anyway, yeah. Uh, is it possible to perform the special moves now? Yes, we've even made it possible for species with only two hands to manage them. How's the jumping? The, char the characters hang in the air for 0 0.2 seconds longer, so it feels more realistic now. Uh, how's the enemy AI? We put some in. <laughs> I'm finished asking about Gibbage 2 now. Good to know. <laughs> Can we play test your computer game? Well, the handheld versions have just come in. You can play on those. They're in that box over there, but our claws have been blunted by all this coding, so we can't open it. Well, everyone except Cecil back there, anyway. Silence up front, Seymour. <laughs> okay. Keep up the hard work, Dino. Some of us have to. Keep it to yourself, Seymour. Right, what about this Triceratops here? He's purple. How's it going, Dino Dude? Terrible. What the hell sort of dinosaur are you? The hard-working, pissed-off kind, actually. Why so glum, chum? Because we're all busting our nuts off to reach this milestone. And Cecil back there refuses to help. Could have been finished long ago if he just pulled his weight. Sounds like a side quest to me. <laughs> Indeed. Don't worry, Dino Chum. We'll get old Sissel working and you see if we don't. Let me know if there's anything I can do to help. You just be thinking of some amazingly useful reward we can have when we're done, okay? Deal. So, you're in crunch mode, huh? Indubitably. If we don't get this game Gibbage 2 finished by today, the Raptors at Head Division will make us extinct. What do you call a one-eyed dinosaur? My mother only has one eye, you insensitive clod. Oops. <laughs> uh, terrorists are taking over. Hack into the division mainframe for me and run face recognition software. Then upload the blueprints to my cell. What are you talking about? Oh, nothing. Ugh. See you later, Saurus. Sure, sure, bye. Okay, this one looks especially geeky. Because he has glasses. Hey there, big fella. Hmm. What you doing? I'm working on the dynamic bitmap algorithms for this computer game. And you're distracting me, you nerf herder. <laughs> Who's scruffy looking? <laughs> no, he didn't say that. Uh, nice Death Star. Yes, I know. It's a limited edition imported version with the plutonium strength laser. Ooh. Are you telling me that sucker is nuclear? It better be for the amount I paid for it on eBay. I keep it pointed to Cecil at all times in case he tries to make a run at my trench. <laughs> ah, go jump in a Sarlacc, Carl. <laughs> uh, why would they build a second Death Star anyway? The Rebels could just rocket the same exhaust port again. <laughs> they could, you idiot, if the second Death Star had the same port. It had hundreds of tiny ports instead. What do you think Emperor Palpatine is, stupid? <laughs> You're the least researched dinosaur I've ever seen. Says the guy in the least convincing human costume since Godzilla. Got any games we can play on? 
Well, you could have a go at that Chucky Egg arcade back there. Hey, I'm pretty good at Chucky Egg. Ha, <laughs> well, you won't get very far, I assure you. I've already got the top five high scores. I'm going to Japan next month to compete in a high stakes Chucky Egg tournament. You sound pretty unbeatable. I am mighty. Yeah, right. <laughs> Live long and prosper. May the force be with you. <laughs> Look at this guy. He looks like a brontosaurus. Look, this is a horrible neck problem he has. Oh dear. Greetings, fellow terror lizard. Um, hello. How's the programming going? I wouldn't know. I'm the accountant. I'm just here to make sure the game meets its guns, whores, and gang speak quotient. Hey, Cedric. That better not be a blue sky you put in there. Yeah. Why the long neck? <laughs> Millennia of evolution has allowed me to spy on the programmers. And make sure they're not just playing a playing cake mania or something. Does sitting on that thing all day give you a brachiosaurus? Oh, that's terrible. I don't get it. Okay. Keep up the good work. It's mine or theirs? Mm. Okay. Have a go on this. Dan, fix this arcade machine at once. I want to play the game about the little robot thing. Oh, it's broken? Sorry, dude. This arcade cabinet is well and truly knackered. Hmm. Bugger. Let's actually look at it. It's some sort of cutesy platform game about a robot or something. It looks rubbish. It also crashed. Huh. Oh, there's, okay. There's more than one up back here. There's a bunch of them. Uh, I haven't talked to this guy, have I? Cecil, he's not working. He's just dangling his legs about. Hail to the king! Elvis fan, huh? What are you working on? Nothing. Nothing? Aren't you supposed to be writing a computer game? With these forearms? Um, well then, how did you get a job here? It's political correctness gone mad, is why. Oh, so I've got small forearms, so I have less right to work. You're such a racist, Carl. Fancy a game of Chucky Egg? There's no point. If I ever manage to get a high score, Carl over there lumbers over and beats it again. He's so insecure. Check your dictionary, Cecil. The word is kick ass. I'm so kick ass. Hmm. Nice model plane. It's an X Wing. Are you joking? This is an X Wing. You know, from the best movie series of all time. I don't remember one of those in Mannequin, or in Mannequin 2. On the <laughs> Is it a bird? Is it a plane? No, it's super dumbass. Hey, we don't have a leathery thick skin, you know. Nice computer. What are its Tyrannosaurus specs? That's about as funny as Jar Jar Binks. <laughs> See you next Ice Age. Ice what? Hmm. Judging by the markings on the side and the angle of the wing flaps, I'd say this is an X-Wing Starfighter. No shit. Furthermore, the blast marks to the top and aft section of the cockpit suggest it's Red 5. Interesting story. Did you know that locking the S-foils actually serves to distribute the deflector shield energy? I thought you said interesting story. <laughs> Can I grab it? Don't touch that, it's mine. Merely touching that would technically constitute theft and I'd be obliged by law to eat you. Hmm. I suggest a new strategy, Benjamin. Let the dinosaur keep his toy. <laughs> Can I grab this flask for some reason? Yes. Let's see why I would have done that. Examine flask. It's a nerd's garish looking thermos flask. Hmm. Okay, this box has got games in it. It's a cardboard box. It's taped shut. I can't pick that up. Why don't you try opening it? 
Well, I would do, but it's taped shut and my fingernails are really short because I bite them. Some days everything's a puzzle, isn't it? <laughs> okay, you open it, Dan. You there, can you open this? Or well, my whip may be sharp enough to cut out your tongue. No, no, I can't. <laughs> okay, well, let's use the scissors then. Ah, neato. What? What is it? This box has three neato snazzy game held out handheld gaming consoles in it. And they come pre-packaged with a copy of Gibbage 2. Well, that sounds brilliant, doesn't it? I'm totally nicking these at some point. I can't believe dinosaurs wrote the sequel to one of your games in this dimension. It's nice to know one of my games warrants a sequel. <laughs> hint, hint. I'll take on them all. Okay. Let's have a look at these other arcade games. This game is called Error, where you control some white writing on a light blue background. <laughs> also, it's crashed. <laughs> yeah. B sod. I guess this must be Chucky Egg. It's an arcade cabinet playing the original Chucky Egg. Man, I rule at Chucky Egg. Go on then. You play it. No credit. Oh. Can I play it? There's no money in it. You can say that again. Oh, I know. I've got shitloads of uh, coins, haven't I? An indeterminate number of, of coins. We've got one credit. Alright, light switch boy. Now that, now, that was our last 10p, so you better be damn good at this thing. Seriously? You want me to do something? What are you talking about? I'm constantly asking you to do stuff. Yeah, but not stuff I'd actually be willing to do. This, however, is right up my street. Step back, good buddy, and be prepared to be amazed by my elite Chucky Egg skills. With a Z. Oh god, what have I done? Are you ready then? Here we go. One-handed, that's pretty clever. I don't think I've played Chucky Egg. There you go. New high score. Yay. Enter your name as Bum. Yeah. Brilliance. <laughs> and now this guy has to come over and do it. Uh, excuse me. What exactly is going on here? What's going on is the wizard over here just whopped your Jurassic ass on Chucky Egg. Uh, I don't think so. Let me see that. Oh jeez, oh no, it's true, it's all true. How could you, how could you possibly? I better get to work. Yeah. Now you're distracted. Oh, meanwhile. <laughs> how are our guests doing? On schedule, they're currently in dimension 3357. You mean the dino mention? What? Oh, yes, yes, very good, yes, the dino mention indeed. And tell me, old friend, what news of our plot? Excellent progress thus far. The people of Earth have been clamouring to get their grubby little mitts on a copy of Hello World. At this rate, we predict 100% of the population will have played it by tea time. Wahaha! These people have no taste whatsoever. This game is ridiculous. I know, I know. Just because it came from another world, they can't get enough of it. Well, it all helps to cement our award-winningly brilliant and nefarious scheme, eh? Certainly does. At this rate, we'll be ready for Phase 4 before you know it. Oh, I can't wait for Phase 4. Me either. It's going to be tops. <laughs> 